You ready? There is a connection between the paranormal, UFOs, and the myths of ancient history. The clues are scattered across the landscape from a forbidden past, maybe even in your own backyard. There is a connection between the true nature of our reality, consciousness, and the unexplained. I'm Carl the Crusher. Let's explore the unknown. Last year when I came up to visit Blind Frog Ranch and Skinwalker Ranch, I came here also in October and did a paranormal investigation of the Vernal Haunted Hotel. And we had some crazy results here with Chad Ollinger. Now here I am, I'm back in Vernal, Utah for the UFO Disclosure Symposium. I just got done over at the radio station doing a live interview to promote the event and tell everybody what's going on. And now I'm headed over to Blind Frog Ranch Outpost to meet everybody there, all the keynote speakers and Chris Lido, where we are going to be launching a balloon with scientific equipment up into space and I'm going to show you around the outpost so let's go oh yeah look who's back at the blind frog ranch outpost Carl the pressures here we're gonna go into the blind frog ranch outpost it's gonna look totally different this time than last time because we're starting the UFO disclosure symposium right here with a really cool balloon launch with Chris Lido and his entire UAP project launching a balloon with scientific equipment up into outer space a whole bunch of people from Blind Frog Ranch and the UFO Disclosure Symposium are going to be here to do it right here in the parking lot. And I'm helping host the live stream right here live as well as interview a bunch of VIPs. I'm going to get as much of the footage as I can from the event and clip it into here. But we're going to do the best that we can. It's going to be really fun. We are in the outpost. We're going to go to the actual Blind Frog Ranch at, later, uh, at a later point. But I don't know how much I'm going to be able to film there. A whole bunch of the live streaming event is going to be going on right here inside the camera crew and everything is all getting set up and the panel is going to be sitting over here for the UFO Disclosure Symposium and then I have like just a few minutes to get ready. There's nothing in here right now and I have to set up this little empty office to be able to do some interviews as well so we'll see it's gonna be crazy. And boom just like that I have my whole studio set up here in the Blind Frog Ranch outpost. So now when people come in the door, they can come over here and get interviewed by me. <laughs> got an iPad playing my videos, my microphone, my webcam, I've got a banner here, my flag up here. I've got my whole kind of set up and this is where I'm gonna be doing the recording, so. Holy smokes, look at this place now. Look who it is, it's Chris Lito over there. Oh, look, he's hiding. He's getting ready to launch a balloon up into space with a bunch of cool scientific equipment in here, but it's starting to shape up in here. Look at it. Wow. Do you want to go call in from maybe the next room over? Because if you call in in this room, it's going to hear yourself and it's going to, like, go, like, join the meeting from your, on your phone or something, and then we'll see if you can hear me and if I can hear you. And if that's the case, then we'll be in it. I have never seen this many balloon time, helium balloon tanks all in one place. This is where they're going to actually launch the scientific gear up into the sky. It's going to be awesome. Here it is, officially inflating the weather balloon. This is amazing. It's a little bit stressful. They're actually filling up the giant weather balloon out here to launch the scientific equipment up into the stratosphere. This is my friend Jim and Michelle. They are filling them all up with helium. Look at all these helium tanks they have right here. All of those are going to wind up inside this giant balloon right here, and then it's going to go up into space. That's the plan. And then we're going to get all that scientific data back on the ground and the computers to see if we can find anything. So it's going to be really cool, you guys. Uh, stay tuned. And anything we have now, okay, it, is, it is more verifiable. We can, we can add trust back into the system. Two, one, go, launch! Launch! <laughs> there it goes. I think we were close enough. And we mostly just so everybody knows, we've got a sort of a live stream of... Uh, of this launch. So it's 6,000 meters. The 
should take around that much to fill that to fill that balloon. All right, until it's until it's full. And then wow. the size there, it, it will actually expand out to 36 feet across. Well, and then can we look at the payload? Can we see uh, what's inside or the payload's inside the uh, inside right now? Okay. So Jim's gonna grab that in a little bit. So maybe when he does that, you guys can go check it out together. Okay, cool. All right, we'll leave you to your uh, business here. Awesome. We'll be sir. back. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Alexi. Alexi's yeah. done pretty much 90%, 95% of the work on this on this balloon launch here in Vernal. So. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love how Paul, at some point, from somewhere, um, and it feels old, right? It feels old, old doesn't it? <laughs> you saw the value in it on the billionaires of today. <laughs> you know, like, you know, they're the AT&T. You've got people in, in Germany, you've got people in Utah, you got people in Los Angeles, and we're all coming together and doing balloon lodges. <laughs> you know, like, Going to space. Going to space. It's Jim Seagal. This is the inside of the payload. We have cameras. We have track GPS trackers. We have... Oh, Chris, we can't hear. Cameras, okay. 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 Uh, we have batteries, we have instrumentation that's inside that's going to be recording the entire flight. And once we get it back, we're going to be able to see exactly what's going on as this thing travels. Uh, we have all the stickers on it. So if somebody does find it, hopefully they call us up. We've got equipment in here that we've had for about three years that we've uh, used in the basin. Um, we've never had it up in the air. This is the first time we'll be actually flying. But right now it's recording data and it's going to send it back to us. And it's uh, designed to pick up uh, anomalies, basically. And we'll be able to raise over $1 million just for science, for science initiatives. Yep. So, and that's just the initial, Paul Hynek, son of Jay Alice Hynek, project Blue Book. Even though we used got the uh, Jim Segala, Michelle Miner, Jessica's here. They're getting ready to launch the Wafas device. Michelle, and all of a sudden, what adds to this? It's like, you know what's good? Cool. You still need a person on the other end. Hey, it's hey how's it going, Paul? Good. Blue support. What's that? Blue support. Yeah, you are. That's why it's such a beauty. It's gonna go up here in a second. There's all the data right there. So they're putting all the equipment inside of this styrofoam box that has wings and all the stuff on it. It's going to go up into the stratosphere, collect a whole bunch of data, and then pop and come crashing down. And then everybody gets to study the scientific data after it lands. <laughs> Paul's a good buddy of mine. He's been helping me come up with my... Uh, presentation for the symposium tomorrow, so it's going to be really cool. important job here. I squat down by the scientists and I film them launching the balloon. So I'm just like crouching down by the table here. All this really important stuff is going on. All the equipment is inside this box right here. They're stuffing it in as I speak, getting ready to launch it up into space right now. You got tape? Hey you. <laughs> Sticking with the sticker. Oh no! I got it. I got it. Oh. Oh. It's kind of sticking in there. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. It'd be one, we'll play. Two systems, right? We, we want two just to have triangulation. Okay. We haven't fun yet. We have to interact. Yeah. Yeah, let's look outside. Ready? Let's go outside and see what's Some people on. call this science, okay, but for Jim Segala, this is just a Friday. This is just a Friday.
So I'm putting good this. With. Alexi, I'm putting this in. The time capsule. Start everything. We are go. Okay. okay. So can you do the you cameras? Wanna... I don't know. Turn how to that, that on. Okay. Excellent. Let's go outside, everybody. Let's see what's going on out there. Let's see our own lunch. I need to get a stick to turn it on. Drop a little lunch. No, I need like something to push with the force. Is that? Is this one filming yet? No. We need to film all of this. That's the one you do from the outside, and then we have one that you do from the inside. Worried that it just sealed everything up and then they got worried that the screen stopped. So it's kind of like, I'm gonna go outside. Here we go. We're gonna do a countdown first. We know you're ready. Better do it. Hey, we gotta go. Start counting. There it goes! No, no, no. I'm catching the moment. Chris, congrats. So awesome. leverage technology and creativity to elevate UAP decentralized science, DSI research projects funded in part through Web3 crypto initiatives, okay? Here's our first NFT collection, okay? Again, it's gonna look funny to you guys. It's gonna be new. This is what innovation looks like. This is what disruption looks like, okay? It's more fun, okay? You can look at your bank account where it just says like boring numbers, or you can look at your bank account where it was artificially created, so using AI intelligence, artificial intelligence, combined with a person, C Stone, Colin Stone, he's our artist, and he made 10,042 of these completely different using artificial intelligence, okay? You can do, you can look at your boring bank account, or you can look at this. It's that simple, I'm, that's it. NFTs now can be worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. Our initial collection, right, going right out the door is gonna fund an additional two space balloons, okay? Today was just a warm up. Friday was just a warm up. This is a, because I didn't want to pay marketers to spread our word, I wanted to pay it on doing something cool. Two, one, launch. Here we go. That was UAP Society, guys, going to, launching. This is it, you can see everybody right there. Yep. There's you guys right there. So we had an ascent of about six meters per second and made it to, I'd say, approximately 43,000 meters. Uh, kilometers, or sorry, 43 kilometers up, so 43,000 meters. Um, the descent was much quicker, um, but luckily, you know, our GPS units survived, and we were able to find it in the middle of the mountains. You know. Um, well, here's Jim. I'll tell you a few words about his device that we put in there. Hi. So one of the things that we decided to do was instrument this to the point where we can actually understand what is happening during the flight and as far as what kind of readings there are, um, GPS readings, electromagnetic readings, and gamma ray meeting, uh, uh, readings. So we, we put a device on here that looks like this. It's a very compact, it's got a little computer on it, a little uh, SD card, and it, it records continuously throughout the life of the battery, whatever powering it, and it just sits there and just records all day long. 
And we also have, well, actually, this is Dwayne's, uh, this is for Blind, this is actually Blind Frog Ranch's uh, device that I kind of borrowed from him. Um, I set it up there. I said, if we lose it, we lose it. It's his. Um, <laughs> um, so actually, we had another device inside the, uh, the, the outpost at the same time that this went up in the air. This is the balloon looking straight upward toward, or sorry, the camera looking straight upward towards the balloon. And you can see the two red dots essentially in the middle of the balloon there. The one on top is the knot that we use to tie the whole structure together. The one underneath that is actually the parachute. The UAP Society has an NFT project started by my really good buddy. We are kicking things off. He made me an official ambassador. If you guys want to see my original official NFT art that I own, and I don't know, I might sell it. It's like a trading card now. I might logo it up, put it on shirts because I really freaking love it. I might kind of like brand it a little bit into my stuff, but check this out, I'm gonna put it right here. This is my original one. You look at it close, it's so cool. But yeah, if you wanna check it out, getting involved in this NFT space, if you wanna know more about it, I'll put the link down in the description below because you can get like small NFTs and stuff like that. And it also helps to contribute to the UFO and interesting paranormal type of research and interesting studies that you wanna participate in and be a part of because we just launched a balloon into space like you guys saw and that was freaking awesome. That was just the beginning of the whole project. Oh, okay. oh, okay. oh, okay. oh, okay. oh okay.